Last week, Vitorin and Zetia were in the news with a study on how effectively they treat cholesterol. Now, everyone knows the name thanks to those headlines as well as the massive advertising campaigns to market those drugs. Well, the Food and Drug Administration reviews about 400 drug names a year that companies submit as proposed brand names, and it rejects about a third of them. So for today's Brand X, we go behind the names of drugs with Bill Johnson of Brand Institute. Tell me, uh, wh where is it that these names come from? Because as I said in, our, in the early part of the show here, they're, usually they're names that I can't even pronounce. Names are created with a focus on communication to the patient as well as the physician. So in doing so, you try to identify some of the key benefits and imagery that can really support what makes the product different. So, you know, uh, why is it that in certain cases um, some of them don't sound like the condition or that they all tend to, I don't know, am I crazy, but they all ha tend to start with Zs or Xs? A explain the philosophy behind that. Sure. The majority of companies creating names for drugs and biotech products are looking to have a global brand. In other words, one that will translate across the entire world. And sometimes familiar English words don't necessarily translate. You also have to keep in mind legal availability and obstacles from a trademark perspective. I, I just learned something. Um, let, me, let me turn to you, Mr. Johnson, because you're, the Brand Institute has worked with many of these drug companies to create some of these names. Tell us some of the ones that you participated with and, and how they've been successful. Sure. I mean, we could take some high-profile ones like a Lunesta, a sleep aid. The whole focus is to focus on imagery associated with sleep and a good night's sleep. So in that case, words like lunar or siesta. A recent example would be the HPV vaccine for young women, Gardasil. It's about guarding or protecting against a virus. Okay, so uh, Mr. Johnson, explain this to me. Um, it, one drug, okay, how many different names do you sit down and think about for that drug, and how long does that process take? I mean, do they send it to the FDA for trials while you're creating the name, or do you create the name first? How does that work? The majority of work is done in advance of sharing it with the FDA. And in some cases, we could create as many as hundreds or thousands that go through our different processes for trademark clearance and market testing with physicians and patients. When the FDA gets the name, they're typically reviewing one at a time. And with that, there's a lot of support that's been prepared by the manufacturer. 